most metals are solid at room temperature in fact apart from mercury all metals are solid at room temperature mercury is the only metal that is liquid at room temperature apart from mercury all metals are solid at room temperature then the next property is that they are malleable and ductile so basically malleable means that they can be hammered into thin sheets and ductility means they can be drawn into wires now this is because uh, if, if you remember if you hammer an ionic compound it will break it's brittle but if, if you hammer a metal what happens is that these layers can slide over each other so as these layers slide over each other the electrons move along with them so the metallic bonds are not broken and therefore the metals are malleable so these this for example the top layer can slide towards the right and the electrons will move along with it so the metallic bond will not be broken and that's why metals are malleable and ductile then metals are good conductors of electricity because of the presence of free electrons so these delocalized electrons the sea of delocalized electrons is uh they are um they are, these electrons are mobile they can move around the structure of the metal so that's why when you apply a voltage metals can conduct electricity because these electrons can move uh, metals are insoluble in water and some actually react with water so that's not solubility there that's a reaction two different things then metals are good conductors of heat so this is because when you heat a metal these uh, the, these ions start vibrating very strongly so there's a lot of conduction taking place if you remember conduction is when heat is directly transferred from one atom or one particle to the other so due to conduction and it's also because these electrons gain energy so they move very fast and they collide with these uh, the, they collide very strongly with the ions and therefore um, uh, there, there, there are more there are stronger vibrations and due to these vibrations metals are good conductors of heat so these are the properties of metals and this is the end of the chapter we have finished chemical bonding it, it is a little tricky chapter especially the part with hybridization but uh, rest is very easy so if you have any doubts uh, you can email me at a level chemistry free at gmail.com the link is the email id is in the description you can practice past papers at gcguide.org the link is in the description as well and uh, thank you for watching stay tuned keep practicing work hard see you next time